everybody, I'm Stephanie from Gathered in the Kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to use these transfers from Dixie Bell. They're part of the Bells and Whistle line and today I'm going to be using on the farm transfers and I'm actually going to be using the chicken ones because I have chickens and I just feel like they need a little more decor in their chicken coop. So what I have first is um, some of the transfers. So the one I'm going to be, I'm going to use three actually. One of the first ones is going to be fresh eggs right here, which I'll cut out. And then some of these I've already cut out just because I used um, the barn and the horse for a different project. You guys can head to the blog to see what I made uh, before with that. But then I'm also going to use this one called the farmer's market. And then I'm going to do this one, like a weather vane. So what I have is actually three pieces of scrap wood that I had laying in my pile. You can see my big pile back there. So I have three pieces of scrap wood that I've already painted in, um, I painted these in drop cloth. I'm trying to see if I have a drop. Here it is right here. I painted it with Dixie Bell, uh, chalk mineral paint in drop cloth. And this is already dried. I painted these a long time ago. I usually, what I do is I paint a bunch of little scraps like this, and then I'm able to use them whenever I have a transfer or something that would look really cute on these. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. So for the first one, Let's see, these are different sizes. So this is this size. So I'm gonna first do this weather vane one. So when you um, cut out your transfer, it is two pieces. If you peel off the paper backing, you will be left with like a, a film-like piece, kind of plasticky piece. And you just wanna lay that on. Let me train, make sure the camera is pointed down so you guys can see. So you just want to lay it onto whatever you're going to apply this to. You can apply it to a dresser drawer, which you guys can check out. Again, another tutorial of mine over on Gathered in the Kitchen or um, on tabletops. Again, another tutorial. Um, but so what we're going to do is that inside of these containers comes a, almost like a, th a tongue compressor and you just use this point it with your finger and apply pressure, pretty heavy pressure, but you want to make sure that you don't dig into the wood. So always keep it on an angle. And what you're doing is you're um, transferring this chicken design onto this wood. So you want to make sure you do it over the entire image. And then what I like to do is Start to peel this um, plastic filmy piece up slowly and carefully. And if I see an area isn't all the way secure, I come back over and apply more pressure. And then I keep peeling. And just like that, I have an adorable wooden sign already. You guys, that took like what, one minute? This is so much fun. I love these transfers from Dixie Bell. Again, like I said, they're part of the Bells and Whistle line. And there are so many different um, designs. I have, well, I think about 15 different <laughs> designs right here. But right now I'm so interested in using these cute little chicken ones. So let's do another one. Again, we're going to just... Peel this off, place it on our wood, make sure it's straight. Again, I'm eyeballing these, so they're pretty, I, I'm pretty good at doing that. But if you guys would prefer, you can always take a tape measure and measure off where you exactly need to place the design. But I've done so many of these that I am usually pretty happy with wherever it lands. So again, I'm just taking this little tongue compressor like 
piece of wood that comes in these packages and I'm applying some pretty firm pressure, pressing along the design and making sure that as I peel this up, I don't take the design with me. Here's our number two, the cute little farmer's market. These are so adorable. Oh my gosh, I absolutely love them. What I might do is come back and frame this out with a one by two that I've stained. We'll see. I might or might not because I think if I just kind of line them up, they'll just look so cute as decor on a shelf or by my actual chickens. All right, so now one more. What I'm going to do for this one is actually cut this design out because this one is still on the whole sheet. So just cut out your design. Okay, set it aside. Take off the paper backing. And there we go. Place it on here. I'm using a self healing mat, which um, I love. This is by Fiskars. And what I like to do is line up my wood so that I know if I'm getting my design straight, especially for when they're like circle ones like this, where it's a little hard to tell. So let's see. I'm going to put it right there. There we go. And now I'm just going to take this again, do this. And then literally less than 10 minutes, I have three super cute signs that I can display throughout my house or honestly in my chicken coop that I would have had, <laughs> I would have probably never found these so cute of designs at the store. So these are so much fun. I love these designs by Dixie Belle. They have so many different designs and transfers that you can buy. I've done some magnolia ones that you guys can check out on the blog. I've done that on a dresser drawer and also some, um, almost like a wild, those weren't wildflowers. Those were, I forget what those ones were called, but I have some floral ones that are on the dresser sides on like the side of the drawer. Also on the blog, lots of the ones you guys can check out over there. And I like to make sure that my design is really good and secure to the wood before I do fully peel it off. Many people go much faster than I do, but I just like to make sure there's no rips or tears. So. There we go. Just kind of press. I did have a little tear right there. I pulled it out just a little fast, but that's okay. That one looks fine because it's a distressed look anyway. So here's our third one. Now you can just like arrange these somehow and make it look really cute. So there you go, guys. That was super easy. Again, this is just on the farm transfer by Dixie Bell, which is bells and whistles. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.